uh, this part of the show, what I like to do is do a tech tip. And uh, what I selected this week was uh, something I brought up in the past is, you know, encryption. Um, so the tech tip uh, that we have this week is, you know, encrypt your memory stick today. So lots of people use things like this here. I'll grab one of mine over here. This is a little, you know, two gig uh, memory stick. I use it to move data around. I've got a four gig. I've got, you know, two gigs here, two gigs there. I've got tons of these floating all over. And uh the idea is, you know, you know that you'll probably never lose one of these, but if you do, wouldn't it be nice to know that your data is secure? So I, I've spoken about one of these things in the past called TrueCrypt, but uh, another one I wanted to talk about this week uh, is called uh, Encrypt on Click. And uh, in the show notes, I've got uh, links to all of this stuff. But Encrypt on Click is a free program that will allow you to s securely uh, encrypt and decrypt uh, your software. It's a program that's very simple to use, features military-grade 256-bit AES encryption. And after you launch the application, you simply select the target file and folder that you want to encrypt and follow the easy interface, type a password, and bingo, your data is all encrypted. So wouldn't you like to... Uh, know that you can easily just uh, encrypt everything on that USB memory stick. Uh, I have a link in the show notes that I'll, that I'll paste uh, um, to download this if you're interested. Here's a, here's a link at download.com where you can download that if you're interested. Also, another that one that I want to mention here that I've spoken about in the past, which is also a very awesome uh, way to encrypt your your data is called TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt, you know, works very similar to this. Uh, it's an outstanding free open source software program that allows you to create a file and then everything that you put in that file it becomes like a, a mounted local drive and you can put anything in there and anything you put in there would be encrypted. So you could essentially create that file on your USB memory stick and uh, and just copy anything into that. TrueCrypt, you have to run uh, a piece of client software. It's you know a little bit more difficult than that encrypt on click, from what I'm understanding. I do I run TrueCrypt personally, but I didn't want to do this topic again without mentioning you know TrueCrypt. And again, let me post um, let me post a link to download that if you're interested in TrueCrypt. There's a link, and uh, thanks Echo for posting the link right to the TrueCrypt website. And then here's one other third one. Uh, called My Lockbox. My Lockbox is also a, uh, a free software application that allows you to do just that. It per password protects files on your computer uh, and it makes it so other users will not have access to those files nor will be able to accidentally or otherwise view them, manipulate them in any way. Uh, the protected folder lockbox is hidden from all other users and all applications on your computer including the administrator and the system. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, those those are three uh, applications that allow you to uh, to uh, encrypt data on a USB memory stick. And uh, I highly recommend that you check out one or all of those programs and find out if one works well for you. The the easiest one being the first one that I mentioned there, uh, the the uh, what's the encrypt on click, uh, which is just a simple little client that just allows you to encrypt and decrypt files very easily and swiftly. Also TrueCrypt and then also My Lockbox. So encrypt your memory on your USB memory stick. You know, imagine uh, we spoke about earlier in the show uh, Sarah Palin, um, her Yahoo email getting compromised. You know, you you'd hate to have some confidential data on a memory stick and you lose it. Uh, and uh, next thing you know, your your data has been compromised and that sort of thing. Memory sticks are very handy for backing up data, but uh, you know, think about what you put on those, and encrypting your data might just be a, a nice extra measure that you'll want to take. So again, I'll have I have a lot more detail on each of these encryption uh, methods in the show notes. And uh, now here's one thing. Uh, um, the uh, privacy rights recently reported that in the last two years, personal information of over 244 million Americans has been stolen or exposed in other ways. So uh, to reduce and eliminate the security threat to your sensitive data, uh, encrypt your data. Don't think twice about it. It is an important thing to do. 
So let's go ahead and just bring this show to a close then. Uh, so this is the general discussion uh, section of the show. Um, what I like to do here is just uh, do some general discussion and uh, then we'll do the post show and uh, in the post show we'll do some general geek speak and all that sort of thing so if you're uh, if you want to hang out after the show please do and we'll do some uh, general geek speak type topics uh, I brought echo relay back into the stream here uh, so uh, viewers you know we have giveaways here on high web interactive uh, you know for more details go by, go by highweb.net at any time and click on uh, the giveaway link and then uh, follow the guidelines there you know just subscribe to YouTube register and comment on my blog I think I just added follow me on Twitter uh, something like that so check it out if you're also interested I've got a, you know a Facebook page that I try to keep up to date uh, and all that so future segments are also going to include you know like music production hard reviews and demos and all that sort of thing uh, I've got uh, something maybe we'll talk about a lot of the stuff I do in the the open geek speak session after the show I've acquired some new things that we'll talk about just after the show so hang out and let's talk tech and uh, what I like to do is call it geek speak uh, just after the show so we're also currently engaging you know subject matter experts which echo relay is a subject matter expert in you know various subjects and he hangs out with this we've got uh, many other people that hang out on the network and you know have their own specialties if you have something you want to talk about on the on the network feel free to hang out we've got who knew from uh, bluephoenix.tv hanging out on the network every once in a while and we've got uh, Steve from the Tech Buzz hanging out on the network uh, every once in a while all you know very well educated subject matter experts and love and are passionate about technology and uh, like to do the geek speak so hang out and uh, hopefully I was going into saying there we've got you know subject matter experts and we're going to produce you know custom segments away from the standard show and uh, bring those to you other days other than uh, the Thursday show but uh, also if you're interested and I'd like to have it happen uh, tips and recommendations you know I know lots of people send me emails uh, but send in emails to live at highweb.net things like viewer questions you know tech tips uh, I've had like our Latin he's in the chat room right now he shared some really cool uh, pieces of software with me or ideas uh, what was that one uh, I can't remember it right now the picture one uh, our Latin might throw it in the chat if he's listening but um, uh, pick lens I think it was called but it allows you to scan through pictures real easy but if anyone has you know tech tips that they want me to share viewer questions or anything or just recommendations about what we can do on this show to make it uh, you know more enjoyable to any of the viewers I would really uh, appreciate it send again to live at highweb.net or just go to live at uh, highweb.net and click on contact and uh, fill out that contact form and tell me what you want to what you want to see on the show uh, past shows you can access any of our past shows again off of the live.highweb.net click on the past shows link and uh, you can get at any of the past shows or just go to highweb.net slash past shows dot html um, that's plural past shows uh, Skype line right now we're using Skype to bring echo relay into the chat if he's here and uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll do that every once in a while too. So if anyone wants to jump on Skype, or we've got a vent server um, and various other methods to bring, uh, you know, a bunch of geeks together to talk about technology. So check it out. Stop by High Web Interactive again in the future, and uh, that's about that. So let's bring this show to a wrap again. Hang out, and uh, we'll talk some tech right after the show. But until then, I basically just wanted to say, you know, have fun with your technology. And I thank you all for participating with High Web Interactive. And until next time, I've got a jibu. We'll see you guys again.